Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, this is another tutorial, well, quick tutorial video on how to use a recording program called Fraps. Now, I'm not gonna, s well, there's not much to say about it, but it is, um, it's a recording program to record either your desktop or to record gameplay. Mainly, it's just for, it's just for PC though. So, like, if you want more, more, more you know, f just type in Fraps, F-R-A-P-S and search it and my internet is fucking slow today a little bit right now so you just go here and then it's a universal windows application that can be used with games using DirectX or OpenGL graphic technology it, in its current f in its in its current from fast performance many tasks and can be best described as benchmarking software screen capture software real time video capture is when w that is how I record all my gameplay the latest version if you want to know the latest version nowadays like if you you know you can torrent it like you know it's right on there I can I'll send you I'll show a torrent on there to show you where to get it if you don't want to buy it I don't buy it but you now who gives a shit it's fraps like it's probably like you can go buy it's probably not that much oh yeah 37 bucks for this kind of program you have to make sure it's worth your while if you want to pay for it but if you want to just torrent it then you go to the torrents you go watch my videos on how to use torrents or how to, or download website torrents on which ones you want. The latest version is 3.55. So what do I have? Let's go check. So here's Fraps right here. This is basically what it looks like. It's just a little program. I have 3.52, so I'm gonna have to update it. So I'll give you descriptions. Okay, this is the first tab called General. It just that's registering email. So if you buy, it, then you'll be registered to email. So you got your options of you can start your fraps when startup. You can start the friends on top, whatever. You can run it when it starts. You can start it when it minimize, whatever. Uh, you can display a sta display status on LCD. Um, don't know much about that. Monitor arrow desktop is basically recording your desktop. I just learned this from a friend because he was. Re I see a bunch of people with the fraps uh, frames per second on here. So like, watch turn on. They have that at the top, so I was like, what the hell, how do you do that? And you say monitor, arrow, desktop. I was like, okay, cool. Next, frames per second. Basically, it is this. It's just that. Frames per second is basically that. So you go like this, and then it says, oh, then here's your benchmark, hotkey, and then you get to your frames per second, frame times, minimum, max, average. You can stop your benchmarking whenever. Uh, you got your overlay, so you could put a left, right, bottom right, bottom left whatever or you can just hide it but it's your choice I always have it at the left top because it just suits me best the next one movies is main oh and if you want to save your certain benchmark you know just change and if you click view it'll put you in the view f uh, folder this is the movies basically what is what you use to record the gameplay this is what I use so I have it on F9 which is default and then I have it in my external hard drive on F and if you want to record, you know, you want to record your sound. It's basically the, what the sound comes to you. Basically, is what you will hear. So if you have your Windows 7 sound on, it's gonna record the sound, music, whatever you have playing through your headset or your speakers. So you have stereo, multi-channel. I just have it on stereo because that's all I use. And this is to record external input, which is basically your microphone. See, it says microphone, Turtle Beach USB headset, which, which is I have. And then if you want to just like, you know, if you want to not record your microphone the entire time because, you know, you might hear or some shit like that, just hold, just press this. And then whenever you're using it or you want to talk, you'd hold the space bar. But it's kind of bad for gaming. Um, what else is there? Okay, this is how to set up your movies, though. This is how you really want to set up your frames per second. Video capture settings. You put it on 60 frames. Don't put it on 29, 97, or 30. Put it on 60 frames half size if you click on full size you're gonna be recording the full size of your files therefore your files of for fraps is gonna be huge there will be fucking huge I mean it the files I have already are five four gigs five gigs eight gigs whatever but it's a random split but if you have the version I have I split my movies every four gigabytes so it's every like f three or four minutes whatever it's hard to say because it's all random so it's actually I split it in four movies because now in this be a warning, three point five two and above I think well my version it records the entire movie. It used to split it up automatically in random like random parts to be like five minutes, eight minutes, two minutes, whatever. 
now it is, if you have an 18 minute gameplay it is one big file 18 minutes it's fucking stupid i hate it so i split it up every four gigabytes but that's fine with me it saves me a little bit more time and then the last one is screenshots if you want to just take pictures and then you put whatever you want i put it on jpeg cuz that's what it's mainly good for jpeg is the shit and then f10 is your screenshot so that is basically fraps guys so remember for capturing the f9 whatever whatever you feel comfortable i just have it on those cuz i don't really use them 60 frames half size and then split movie or depend on your version 3.47 is a good version too I had that one, and that's the recent one I had, and then I'm, and that's it. And then I upgraded 3.52, so I'm gonna go three, find 3.55. Five. So, and this is for this noob right here, Caleb Brody Khalifa, whatever the fuck that rapper's name is. So let's go to Kickass Torrents and Pirate Bay. Now we gotta search out the Fraps, cause I need the new one too. Oh yes, okay, Fraps. See, I was looking for 3.54 or 3.53. So, oh, see, there's look at this fucking bastard. It's like quick. Uh, I th what? I have oh, too many tabs open. That's what. 3.52. I want 3.55. Okay, so gold by uploaded. 3.4. 2.54. Fraps 3.545 And let's go Fraps Get out of here you fucking useless tabs Okay you know what This is the one you want Fraps 3.54 activate Just get that one Because it looks like this guy's decent The virus is the uninstall dice. You just remove that after you install the software If you want to be safe Look at the jacket It's going into other people's torrents of Fraps And saying oh my god it's a virus no. And then he's like Class A act man, class A act. Oh yes, and I know that virus scans are false positives. I don't even know shit. Yeah, there's no virus, guys. Don't worry about that. That's what everyone says about the fucking torrents. Is that oh, it's a virus, man? Don't download this. It's a false. That's why I don't have any antivirus programs except this mic, except Microsoft. So you download this one. I will have it in the description for you guys. So download that, use it, and you're good to go. Thanks for watching guys. Please like this video if you think if this helped you. If not, please comment what didn't if what's your problem about Fraps or if you have any questions or something. Cuz I'm I've been using Fraps for like 2 years now. My first Fraps video was the aliens uh alien vent thing to show people cuz this one guy was talking shit saying I can't do this so cuz you have to go down a vent and you have to go through holes so, but instead I just ran down it and it worked. So yeah. That's it, guys. Uh, enjoy Fraps and keep record that gameplay and upload it, baby. See you guys later. Have fun. Like it up. Thanks.